Good day there, nature lovers. I welcome you as we study the fascinating, about short life of the Anura Konamicus, commonly referred to as the Frogger. First discovered and documented in the Gran Conapedia in 1981, this creature leads a very hectic life and is thus seldom seen in the wild. We have, however, managed to shoot some extraordinary footage of the day-to-day -day activities of this green fellow. One reason the frogger is rarely spotted alive is that it has the most peculiar demands on its natural habitat. It likes to dwell in rivers that have multiple currents, which need to lay near roads with heavy traffic. It is also a very territorial bound creature. The moment that the frogger is removed from its territory of choice, it immediately dies of something that can only be described as a severe case of extreme homesickness. Thus, we are left with only field study. In the riverbed, the frogger builds five nests, and is usually on its way to one of those. The poor fellow can never choose which one it likes best to settle down in. This makes for a hazardous life, as it constantly crosses the river and the road to choose its new home to spend its next five seconds. Most froggers die an agonizing, splattering death by relatively speaking, giant rubber wheels. Were a frogger to survive the perils of traffic, it has yet to face the terrors of the river itself. Most animals in the Anura order have little trouble with this feat. The frogger has a rather unusual condition though, which makes for a dangerous journey across the water. It suffers from an odd case of water allergy. The mere touch of any source of H2O makes it dissolve instantly. Thus it has to hop across the river to reach one of its homes. To offset the high mortality rate of the frogger, they have a very high reproduction rate. Some froggers can reproduce themselves 3 to 7 times, just like that. However, the frogger also leads a love life. The sounds of heavy traffic lure out the froggers which will travel downstream in wait for a frogger to take her in. As the frogger senses a froggeress nearby, it often disregards all safety for itself in the foresight of the best 5 seconds of his short life in one of his nests. If the two should meet, they engage in a most fascinating mating ritual, in which the froggeress latches onto the frogger's back as he escorts her onwards. After the quick deed, he leaves her to travel to one of his other homes. The frogger's natural diet consists of small insects, like flies. Often, it gets so overexcited by the sight of a fly that it forgets caution and often misses its time jumps. This in turn will most likely bring our green hero in contact with the very lethal water, meaning certain death. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the life of a frogger is a harsh and short one which offers very little rewards. If you were to ever spot one in the wild, consider yourself lucky to behold one of nature's strangest mishaps. And remember, if you are driving next to a river and you suddenly feel your car slipping away a bit, you might have just driven through some frogger pate.